Hey model car fans, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Ducky's Model Cars, or if you're new to the channel, welcome to Ducky's Model Cars. My name is Kenny, as always your host, AKA Ducky. And today I'm gonna to be doing another review for you and another review of a recent acquisition um, of mine to the model car collection. So without any further ado, let's turn the camera around, show you what today's model is and get right into the review. And the model for review today is gonna to be this, my brand new 4GT. Now I've had this model for a couple weeks now, I'm just only now finding the time to do this review for you guys, but the quick backstory on this one, um, I've been wanting the 4GT for a while, and actually a little while ago, I was actually kinda of set on just picking up a um, red one with the silver stripes, the black wheels and everything, but then I saw that Auto Art was gonna be releasing the ones in this spec. So this is finished in the Alan Mann Heritage livery with the white, kind of the white accents, the gold stripes, the number 16 on the side with the Ford badging uh, down below. And um, I, I purposely waited to get this spec because it's, A, while it's a cool kind of heritage livery spec uh, that goes back to Ford's racing history. Um, I'm also a big fan of Shmi150, the YouTuber, and um, I thought it'd be really cool to have an almost replica of his car. Of course, if you know his story, he has a car which is based around the Allen Man old racing color, so the liquid red with the gold stripes. So when I saw that Auto Art was making this spec, I had to wait and pick this spec up for myself. Um, again, a little bit different than Schmidt's car, obviously, with the livery and the white accents, but that's kind of the story as to why I got this spec. And also, I also knew I wanted a red um, 4 GT. Originally, I was going to get the red one with the silver stripes with the link to, of course, the cars being built in Canada. I live in Canada, so I just thought the whole tie-in there was kind of cool. But, yeah, so anyways, as I mentioned, obviously finishing the Allen Mann racing livery. Um, this is also finished with the carbon fiber wheels and the carbon fiber mirror accents. Of course, the 4 GT kind of is famous for having these flying buttresses, which you can see right through. And, of course, on the model, it shows and... And on the real car, this is probably one of the coolest angles. How you can see basically right through all the body lines of the vehicle itself. First impressions of this model, um, absolutely love it. Just the 4 GT um, in general. I like this car. I have all generations of models in my collection. But to dive a little bit more in depth into this car specifically, I think this is one of the better models Auto Art has put out. Um, the details on it are absolutely insane. The headlight detail on this is awesome. We can see how it kind of has the two double stacked LED lights in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the camera here, but the uh, Ford GT logo, which is kind of emblazoned or engraved onto the actual headlights inside, you can actually see that little logo in there. Um, you got, of course, the Ford badge on the front. The striping detail is awesome. If we gently open up the little front area, um, of course, your 4 GT you don't have a front trunk or anything because this is basically a race car that they built for the road. So up front, you open this little flap and all you get is kind of your little uh, plastic bits for holding some of your fluids are up here. That's pretty much all you get. I think the battery connector is up here as well, but even that really good details on there. Um, the mesh detail in the front, of course, to have the air come through for your air management. The mesh detail on this is really nice as well. I'm gonna close that down gently. Um, I guess moving to the side, as I mentioned, we have the carbon fiber mirrors and the one funky thing with the 4 GT, which they have on the model, which you might be able to see with the mirrors, is that they're actually not uh, level. And this is to do with the positioning of the driver uh, and the way the seats are because the seats are actually fixed. Um, in this car, you can't actually move the seats, but you just move the pedal box uh, around you. So yeah, the mirrors are kind of offset to work with the body lines and the positioning of the driver. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a quirk for the 4 GT with the mirrors not being centered. And it's one of those things that once you know and you see it on the car, you can't unsee it. And yeah, it might be hard to tell on camera here, but if you look at it with your own eyes, you can definitely tell that the mirrors aren't off center. So again, attention to detail with that is very good. Um, you can see a little bit of the interior detail that they have there. We'll dive into the interior a little bit later, but again, interior detail is really good. So stick around for that. You can see all oh, be the nice mesh detail in the front there. Uh, we can see everything in behind it. Of course, we can see the little mesh cutouts on the side here that are all for the for the airflow. Um, and then again, if I move down the side of the car, we can see the air intakes on either side, which help feed in air into the engine. I think also help feed directly into the um, into the turbos. Because of course. This car has a slightly controversial engine being a V6 EcoBoost twin turbo, but definitely, definitely no slouch. Again, as this is basically because race car. 
Um, yeah, I mentioned it has the carbon fiber wheels. We can see the nice brake detail in the back there, of course, fitted with the carbon ceramic brakes with the big calipers, which say Brembo um, on them. Um, we can see the, the cool little gas cap detail there. The gas cap doesn't open at all in this car, but still, attention to detail in there is very nice. Of course, as I mentioned, the flying buttresses that the car has um, that give you that epic, epic view. And even the little vents down here, kind of right behind the engine bay. Um, and the one neat party trick with this car is that, of course, the 4GT has the active aero wing on it. Um, it's currently down, and if you're wondering how you pop the wing up, if I gently flip the model over, we'll see this little switch on the bottom here. So right, basically right under in the rear diffuser, right in the middle. So if we go ahead and just give that a little pull, you'll see the wing pops up. Now it doesn't actually pivot um, forward to replicate the air brake, but still a cool detail that you can actually kind of put the wing up. So give it a quick little press down. And once again, we just pull the button. One quick little pull, and we have our wing that pops up. And while we're at the back of the car, again, we can see the cool little wing details. Um, again, it doesn't move, but of course you can see the detail right there, which would be the hydraulics, which would actually pivot the air brake forward. So I guess I'll knock a small point off Autowart for not actually having the active aero wing, but I imagine given that it's kind of such a small plastic bit, they probably don't want people moving it and it breaking off. So if that's why, I completely understand the decision. Um, we can move back. We can see the awesome details on the exhaust. Again, if you've ever seen the real car, you see it kind of has those cutouts on the inside. I'm not sure if it's for heat escape or what, but again, the attention to detail on this is awesome. Apologies, guys. The camera didn't I uh, want to focus on it too well, but we can see right there in the center, we have the GT logo, like of course on all four GTs. As I mentioned in my previous auto art videos, the license plate um, on the back of the cars always either has the brand name or the actual model of the car. So in this case, we just get the Ford logo with the Ford Performance badge as the Ford GT is made by the Performance Division. Again, we can see kind of the little rear uh, light details on there, which are awesome, the meshing. And then the super aggressive diffuser that the car has. We can see all the individual slats there. Again, there's a little release button for the wing. If I flip the car over really quickly, being careful, I don't break the mirrors. We have, if I flip it over, we can get a better look at the diffuser. We can see all the kind of the carbon fiber work as you would on the real car. Of course, you don't see much under the car as it's all completely flat and uh, oops, it's all completely flat and everything is closed in. Again, just like on the real car but I guess still kind of cool to see underneath. Um, and then if I move, well, let's start with the engine quickly. Pop the, pop the wing down quickly. We can have a look at the engine bay. Of course, the model fully opening as always. So you can open the engine there. It has a nice little gas strut detail to keep the, the back open. And while we're in the back, we can see right here, the only storage, um, that you get in the 4GT. I say storage in air quotes because this pocket was basically designed big enough to only fit the helmet um, that you might take with you to the racetrack. But yeah, the engine detail is awesome. We have the very prominent kind of oil filler cap back there, carbon fiber detail all around the inside of the engine bay, which looks awesome. And just really quickly, just a touch on the doors. Of course, the 4GT has, the, I guess, what we call the super supercar doors, the billionaire doors, whatever you want to call them, the cool dihedral doors. So. If I just open up both of those for a second, of course, we get the awesome almost butterfly door look, very supercar-like. Uh, they open very similar to the McLaren uh, doors as well. But as I said, let's uh, pop into the interior. So yeah, on the door card, guys, there you might be able to see we have the number 16, which is the same number that we have on there. Again, a throwback to the Allen Man Racing days. Not a whole lot of detail on the door card. Again, in this car, it's very simple anyways. Um, not really much to see on the real car. But yeah, it's kind of a cool attention to detail that you have the number there. And I believe it's on both sides. Yeah, we can kind of see. Hard to, hard to see on the passenger side there as it's kind of woven into the carbon fiber. But we can see the number 16 on the door card. If we move again into the interior, there's a little bit better shot of the inside. So again, we see the red um, paddle shifters. We see the Ford... The GT logo on the door, all your controls in the center consoles. And then we got the red start stop button in the middle there. You have your gear selector, 
on the little round part there, so your park refers to neutral drive. Um, of course, on the steering wheel is how you would change to all your different driving modes. So, you know, normal, sport, track, uh, I think wet mode, and uh, VMAX uh, mode that this car has. We can see on the left, uh, again, another little bit of a controversial part or bit, it would be the, um, the controls for the lights, as in your, well, now what's a million dollar supercar, you have the exact same light switches as you have in your almost like base level Ford Focus, but I don't actually mind this, of course, it is it is a Ford, so they have an excessive parts um, catalog, so while it might seem a little tacky to have in your supercar the exact same thing you have in like your base Ford Focus or any other Ford model, I say if it ain't broke, why don't fix it? We turn a little bit, we can see the seats, again, which I mentioned, are fixed in place, and we can see kind of a throwback spec there to having... Um, the holes in the seat for weight savings. There's no actual holes in the seats now, but they do little kind of perforations um, in the leather there to kind of mimic that old school style. Of course, the seats are carbon fiber buckets. It does have the Ford GT logo again emblazoned in the headrest. Again, I'm sorry, guys, it's kind of hard to see in there. And then if we just look at the uh, dashboard again quickly, we can see the central screen there, which is just randomly displaying the GT logo. We can see the dash right in front of the driver which just probably shows park, but obviously that's where you'd have all your drive modes and whatever information up there, your central screen, the control, the nav system, media, and everything like that. And yeah, a very simple interior on this car, um, but again, I think Auto Art absolutely nailed the details of it on this model. And real quick, guys, before I end off, one more design detail that I just, again, remembered while I opened the doors is that um, the part of the doors are actually hollow here, so when they're closed, you have that air management that directly comes, I guess, with the swelling air from the wheel well that comes out under the car. Well, if you go ahead and open the door, you can again see that there's a hole there that you can see right through. So again, if you guys have ever seen a 4GT uh, in real life um, and you look at the model, all the attention to details are there, all the little details are there. You know, different specs. I know for the interior have some slightly different color options uh, in there, but again, I went for the Allen Man spec i absolutely love the car um let's just quickly open up everything so you can see what it looks like fully open let's get the wing up there and we'll open up in the front so there you go guys that's what the car looks like all fully opened up so there we go guys there's the kind of the quick little review and overview of this car again um Immediately one of the favorite models in my collection, again, as the fact that I waited for this specific spec to become available. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's take one, one more last quick look at the car itself. And yeah, I uh, definitely recommend, um, if you guys are collecting, I would recommend going to pick up the um, Auto Art 4 GT. Of course, they come in a variety of different specs, um, I believe that this last batch is the last batch of specs that they're doing. I don't think they're going to be doing any more liveries uh, or anything. Um, but yeah, really cool to have this in the collection. Really happy to have it in the collection. It's also, I guess, a fun fact that now all of these generation of 4GTs have been delivered. So at the current moment, there are no more new 4GTs. I guess we'll wait and see what Ford uh, builds in the future if they make a, a successor to that car. I don't want to ramble on for too much longer, guys. There's a quick overview of the auto art model. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel to see more content. If you're not already, please also go follow me on Instagram. I always post pictures and just other stuff on there. If you want to see what new models are coming in, what new models might be for sale, any of that stuff, go and give me a follow on Instagram. Link will be in the description below. Uh, but just like that, this video is over. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.